lockdowns, curfews, high numbers of infections. A new variant of the coronavirus is once again keeping the world in suspense, despite the vaccinations. A variant of Omicron dispara o alerta no mundo. Numbers of infections are breaking records. Desh mein Omicron ki case tezi se badne shuru ho gaye hain. More than half of the European population are expected to contract Omicron. Rumors and fake news about the virus variant spread almost as quickly as Omicron itself. One of them is. Omicron is harmless, misleading. Social networks are full of claims that Omicron is significantly less dangerous than previous variants. Some even think we don't really have to worry anymore. Fact is, the Omicron variant seems to lead to somewhat milder courses. In countries like Great Britain and South Africa, for example, the number of infections has exploded, but hospital admissions and severe cases have not increased as much as feared. Omicron also has some biological differences from the previous variants. Um, some studies point to the fact that it may actually prefer the upper respiratory tract compared to the lower one, the, the lungs, which might explain why it is very contagious. Obviously, if there's a lot of virus up here uh, in, the, in the upper airway, it's very easily spread, uh, but then less likely to cause severe disease simply because it doesn't prefer the lung uh, as its, its place to, to, to replicate and to infect. But that doesn't mean we can sit back and relax. South Africa, for example, had two advantages during the Omicron wave that do not necessarily apply to other countries. First, Many South Africans already had basic immunity through previous illness or vaccination. And secondly, the population is comparatively young. It's definitely not possible to, to claim that Omicron is simply a common cold virus. Indeed, if you have good immunity, that means you are fully vaccinated and, and you become infected with Omicron, um, the disease you will develop very likely uh, resembles a common cold. So it is uh, unpleasant, but it's not a danger. Um, for those who are totally non-immune, um, we, we, you know, the, the chances are it may be milder, but, but you know, you can still have very um, severe disease and, and even die from it. Some vaccination opponents even go so far as to claim that the new virus variant is much more contagious for those who have been vaccinated. Allegedly, after three months, the vaccine efficacy of BioNTech, Pfizer and Moderna becomes negative against the Omicron variant. The vaccinated are more likely to become infected than the unvaccinated. False. A study from Denmark that has not yet been peer-reviewed has led to some confusion. According to opponents of the vaccination, it confirms that the corona vaccines are useless and can even be harmful. The study addresses the question of how well the vaccines from BioNTech, Pfizer and Moderna protect against an infection with Omicron. The researchers calculated the effectiveness by comparing the infection rates of those who had been vaccinated twice and those who had not been vaccinated at all. The studies took place during the first few weeks after Omicron was detected in Denmark. In fact, in the study, the effectiveness of the vaccine drops to negative levels after three months. But how can that be? We spoke to one of the authors about this. Firstly, because it would be a very odd mechanism by which uh, you uh, have protection in the first few months after um, vaccination and then the vaccines flip to becoming harmful in some sense. And the fact that the, the fourth estimate is, is uh, negative, so this is after uh, 90, 90 days, um, is really a sign that there is some bias in the comparisons of the uh, infection rates in the vaccinated versus the unvaccinated populations. These statistical distortions have to do with the different behavior of the vaccinated and the unvaccinated, explains Holm Hansen. For example, vaccinated and recovered people can travel abroad more easily, and that's how Omicron came to Denmark. This group can also take part in events more easily, which leads to a higher risk of infection. 
It's also important to consider that 80% of the population in Denmark has now been fully vaccinated. When, when you have a situation like that, um, the, you would tend to see more infections in vaccinated populations, not because the vaccines aren't protective, but because the Omicron epidemic hasn't quite yet spread far enough into the population it's not general, the epidemic is not generalized enough in the population um, to really have um, comparable infection rates in the vaccinated and unvaccinated. So the negative values after three months do not mean that the unvaccinated are better armed against Omicron than the vaccinated. This is also clearly indicated in the study itself. The vaccinations are not effective against Omicron. False. Initial studies show that basic immunization, usually with two doses of vaccine, offers little or no protection against infection with the Omicron variant. This is because all previous mRNA vaccines were based on the blueprint of the spike protein of the original coronavirus. The spike proteins of the new virus variant have numerous mutations. As a result, our immune system no longer recognizes the Omicron variant so well. The antibodies can no longer bind and neutralize the new variant at an early stage. The virus penetrates the cells faster and can multiply there. But that doesn't mean the vaccinations are useless. They still protect from a severe course of the disease to a high degree. And then there are booster vaccinations. In a study, scientists from Harvard found that they significantly increase protection against Omicron. Quite, it's very clear that the vaccine, in particular once you received your third jab, you are also very likely to be protected at least for some time for getting infected. But it's really clear that, the, uh, that all the vaccines protect for getting seriously ill. The vaccinations, together with contact restrictions and hygiene rules, are therefore the best form of protection against Omicron.